Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. We've got two more things to do left in this game on episode 30. But first, 6K, Slippy Spikes. Let's get to it. If I remember correctly, oddly enough, and I will come out and say it this time, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. This might be... This might be the easiest K level in the entire game. Partially because they automatically start you with a Kong Panion. Some of them don't, so that's kind of nice. If you are looking for an additional challenge upon watching me do this... Ooh, there's a puzzle piece down there. I should get it. Oh, pff. what am I doing? Okay, this is chaos. But yeah, if you're looking for an additional challenge upon watching me do this, if you feel like the ice physics and random electrified geometry down there isn't hard enough for you, if you're too hard, you can do it DK only. So, whatever floats your boat, make sure you don't get hit by the spoits. But yeah, in general, um, this is one of the easier ones. And uh, yeah, I will stick by that. Okay. Oops. <laughs> well, now I guess I am doing it in a uh, more challenging format. Not by choice. <laughs> the game decided this one for me. I mean, I guess I kind of did. I was the one making all the kinds of mistakes and stuff. Whoa. So there are these little platform slopes that, uh... Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Oops. We got a final boss to do in this level, so not in this level, in this episode. Oh, nope. Okay, cranky it is. Great. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's just go ahead and. Can you just endlessly. Oh, no. I thought you could just endlessly pogo with, uh, cranky. We're just gonna tactically reset here for a moment. As we walk along the bedazzled ground of this. Deadly Ruins. Man, it's kind of crazy to think about that, uh, yeah. This game is coming to an end. I remember when I picked it a long time ago to start off doing things on Saturdays as well. I just thought to myself, you know, let's, let's have more fun with it and uh, do like a little shorter series. And then I realized that this game is not short. Um, so yeah, we'll see going into the future if this gets replaced by something or if we just go back to Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays maybe I'll have another trick up my sleeve but yeah the whole point of the the whole point of the Saturdays was just to be kind of like a fun little weekend snack although I guess that could be considered stuff on Sundays but you know not everybody's into retro stuff can I get there? yes which I understand. You want something a little more modern and contemporary? Oh, I should not jump there. Whoop! There we go. Yeah, this is not abundantly difficult. I'm kind of making it tougher on myself by being a ding dong, but what else is new? Can I? Yes. It's not so bad. Whoop! We got fire. Pretty manageable, I would say, so far. Especially having Dixie. This is even easier. So like I was saying, if you do want that additional challenge going and doing this with just your big DK out and about, it's probably the best way to do it. But hey, don't let me tell you how to... Oh boy. Don't let me tell you how to play your Donkey Kongs. It's actually probably good that this doesn't take me too long because I've got a feeling that tonight's going to be a... Uh, Rough fight. Final boss is on tap. We will be taking him on here shortly. So prepare yourselves for. Oh boy, can I not get up there anymore? Maybe I need to roll jump into it. It's not really a lot of space for a roll jump. Nope. Okay. 
Oh boy, everything is horrible. There we go, let's just do a reset. Not a tactical reset. Just the regular kind, the regular kind. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice little warm-up, I guess. To, uh... Kind of wet your whistle. I've always thought that's a weird phrase. I know that it probably refers to, like, drinking. Like, a, like a liquid. Because your whistle is your mouth. But... I'm not really sure, like, what wetting is. Like, a wet stone? Like, when you sharpen something? But you guys know how I feel about weird phrases. Oh, that was not cool. What? This is definitely not the button I pressed. Okay. Here at D Mike Industries, sometimes you gotta make a tactical excuse. Alright. Whoa. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Okay. But yeah, soak it in, everybody. This is the final K level. So you should probably do this, because I don't want to repeat this. Look at that! That, my friends, is a uh, successful Dixie acquisition on the very first try. Oops. So can I get back up here? Oh my gosh. I'm not paying all the best attentions right now. Here we go. Alright. I don't even really know what this is supposed to be. Like, some of the other levels with the caves kind of made sense, but this one just kind of seems random. Like, hey, it's very purple, it's very blue. Alright. This looks like this is probably where Puzzle Piece is. Oh, well, bye, Dixie. See ya. Alright. Let's keep our eye. Oh, there it is. In there. No. 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 Come on. Yes! It's the last puzzle piece in the game. Okay. Imagine dying right here. Ooh, okay. Time for our final reward. That didn't take too long. Some of these, some of these K levels, man. Like the middle ones? Holy smokes. Yeah, there it is, the final wedge. All the puzzle pieces. We're gonna be able to look at some art today, which is fun. Although I have not collected very many more of the toys, sadly. But that's it. A mysterious relic. That, sound, that sounds like something from Pokemon Arceus. That little sound effect. Ooh, all right, everybody. Time to head over to the Finau Bos. The head honcho. I believe in us. Do you believe in us? If you believe in me, maybe comment, uh, like, and subscribe to the video. Hmm. But this is Boss Volcano Dome. Let's get ready to rumble. Here we go. Oof. I don't remember anything about this fight at all, so this could potentially be horrible. Try not to get too excited and clip the audio again. All right. There you go. Generous Kong Panion Barrel. Let's take a moment just to kind of slowly strut into the final boss of the game. Looks like we're in some sort of a catacombs. Those guys are very horny. Okay. And there he is. King Snowman himself. Dixie and uh, DK. Not afraid to just jump into action. Ooh. He looks mad. Okay. Time for a fight for the ages. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the final fight of the game. Against uh, whoever this guy is. This is a this is a tough one, if I remember correctly. I need these to. I don't know how. I, oh, you okay? So. I wasn't sure if it would... Oh, he does dodge. That's kind of rude. That's funny, though. Ooh, I probably should have held on to that. That was not an accent that I am comfortable with doing more than once. And it was unintentional anyway. Can I lean on this guy? I love his character design, though. The juxtaposition of uh, this 
And the hot lava. It's really good. Woo. He is a spicy boy. But I mean, he did try to take over our island. Trying to displace us. I think not, sir. We gotta take back our homeland. I don't know if there's a good way to do this. Oh, <laughs> what a jerk. That's hilarious, though. I enjoy that. That was a complete swing and a miss. Well, we are not too cycling this guy. Not that I've even known how to do that. Okay, he's pretty thick, so... I wonder what causes some of them to just... to do that. I don't know if there's a way to ju Oh, you know what? Of course, I'm gonna... waste my own ammunition by having it run into each other. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I don't know which ones you get. You clearly get three. I don't know how you how you get them to not move. Stay put? Nope, not that. There we go. I hit him in the toe. He's definitely not okay with that. He's like, you're gonna make my feet seize cold. Whoa. It'll... I don't know if this is an opportunity to hit him, but kind of nervous to try. Whoa! Yeah. This fight seems like it's going to be pretty long, and I don't really want to do it a ton. So... Trying to do it in one take. Now, thankfully, I do have a bunch of Dixies in tow, just in case. Probably didn't need 30 of them, but, you know... When you're a big money baller like me, you can do whatever you want with your banana coins. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> they said that they removed the RNG from this, so... I have no clue what his tells are. There's probably people watching this like, Come on, you big dummy, it's when he does the thing and the stuff. Alright. Okay, so the quick release is not it either. There we go. Kind of popped up and tossed at him. Oh! He killed one of his boys! It's not very nice. Alright, let's see if I can hit him. Or not. Nope. You gotta really get up there. Oh. Oh no. But yeah, if we do run out of Dixie, I can, uh. Can I just stock it now? Not to be anticlimactic or anything, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and. Let's just do that now. I don't feel like wasting it. And by it, I mean time. I don't want to waste all your precious times. Okay, so you can like sort of like angle yourself to hit him. Okay, can you stop? Oh, maybe that's when you do it. Oh, come on. That's BS, I totally hit him. He moved his hitboxes. Impenetrable. Alright, so. Oh, pff, I didn't even grab it. Oh, there's that. I think if maybe you kind of trap him, you trape him in the corner. There we go. Yes. Come on, bud. Nope. No. Oh. Oh, you can hit him there. Oh, that kills you? That is lame. <laughs> well, so much for that. And we use one of our barrels instead of the... the destined one from the game. Alright, back to this. Oh boy. Sorry, viewers. This is why uh, it was good that the K level was easy today. Because this one was gonna be a hoot. This, this fight's got some bite to it. He trap you in like one side or the other. It's like when he when he adjusts himself like that. Oh, <laughs> that's an adorable animation. I didn't know he did that. Sound effects even better. There you go. So those are the tells. I guess you're just supposed to wait until he gives you a uh, an out. Okay, so you can jump on his back. Those do count. I sort of assumed that, though, like, you were able to jump on the, uh, 
whatever his face was. The seal from the the first boss of the game, I should say. Man, can you imagine if I wouldn't have known that? This would have taken even longer. Okay. Alright, let's wait for him to give us a moment. Slow it down, bud. There we go. And then he'll pop over here. Oh, I wonder if you can let it go just before he does that. Oh, not missing would be sweet. Alright, so that's like four hits. I believe this this uh, game might take on the rule of uh, the Nintendo rule of 27ths, where you gotta hit him 20 something ish times. I love that. Oh no, this is different. We are on a different phase now. Oh boy, I'm scared. Oh no. Oh, it like makes the platform go away. And there's ice physics now. Sweet. Oof. Okay, just to have a little bit of misery to our equation here. Now we gotta do this while we are slip sliding away. So, not the end of the world. Ooh, this is not. All right, you just. There we go. Ooh, I do love that though. That's annoying, but I do love that. Come on, brother. Ugh. Oh, they have these guys. They're uh, different snowmat options here to fit your fancy when you're. Ooh. When he's coming at you. He should have different. He should have more difficulty in jumping on this too. Oops. Oh, whew. that gives you a chance to redeem yourself. That's nice. Okay. Hang in there, D. Mike. We're doing okay. We're at the point of the game where it's socially acceptable to speak in third person. All right. So he's he's trying to blow us right now. As you can see, the parts... Oh, you, you know what? The parts of the level that uh, he jumped on, they lose the ice physics. But it's okay. We've got endless Dixies to cheese this fight. I'm not too proud. I'm at a point in my life where playing games on the hard, hardest difficulty and trying to complete stuff is just... Ain't nobody got time for that. Also, it's extra true because of... Uh, you know, recording and then trying to do commentary at the same time is kind of tough. Alright, so when he squares up like that, you gotta hit him right in, right in the belly. No excuses. Ooh. Man, I just whipped on both of those. Give me another shot. Nope. Oof. No, don't fall in the. Oh, no, no. Oh. Okay. Let's go ahead and restock our Dixies. Is that gonna let me do all of them? Hold on a second. No, it is not. Because we already have one and the game's like, you're getting greedy, all right. Ooh, take three. Let's uh, try to learn from our mistakes. That wasn't fair though, I got stuck in the iframe cataclysm. Wasn't really much I could do. I, I still don't know. Man, that is unfortunate. Have we learned nothing, D-Mike? You have to wait for him. There we go. Ooh, that did give it to me. I'm excited about that. Ooh, yeah, it does not. You get no opportunity to, to take advantage of that. Okay, that's two hits. Could have been a third hit, but I missed. Okay, he's gonna jump up around. He's gonna jump, jump, jump around. Oops. Oh, look at this. Uh, his horns start glowing. I didn't know that. Pretty neat. Yeah, everything about this final boss is cool from the butt rock, the, the decor of all the uh, penguin bros in the background just watching their boss man take us out. Yeah, you just gotta square up. He. He doesn't have the ability to. He doesn't have the ability to dodge when it's right down Broad Street. So, Ugh. getting both of those hits in is nice. Oh come on! You know what? I've had enough of you, King Snowmad. But you just gotta be really careful here. 
Obviously, falling off the level is instant death. We're falling into the level. And so I sign in the morning when I wake up. All right, here we go. Whew. This is this is the, a battle for the ages here. Yeah, it's a shame you can't. It's a shame you can't hit him that final time. It just does not let you. Oops. Okay. Then come at us one more time, I think. He's coming around for us. Nope. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Stay out of there. Okay. So now I think we're in the phase where he's gonna start shooting the the ceiling daggers at us. Okay. Oof. I think the goal is that eventually these will all become ice. They do double up though, in certain cases. Like that. <laughs> I was trying to use that as an indication that it would be fine. It was not fine. Come on, buddy. I got somewhere to be, and that place is beat you up. That is not, uh, that did not make any sense. There we go. Hit him on his hand. It'd be nice to do that. I don't know why I keep trying it. It's clearly unsuccessful. There we go. And then his ice physics. No. We're running out of Dixies. Now I'm even having, like, I'm playing on the mode with the additional hits, too, so. <laughs> Clearly, I am not good at this game, but I'm doing my best for you viewers, I promise. I just want to have a successful run through to put on my resume here. So, uh, why do you think you're qualified to work here? Like, do you have proof of, uh, of content that you've made that would show why you are a an exceptional candidate for... Snooty Poops Industries? No. Okay. Come over here, please. I'm missing a chance. Hit him. No. Ooh. We're just stuck on top of each other. Does that count? Yes. Got him. Yeah, it just instant kills him, so. Let's go, boy. This kind of feels like the final boss fight against um, K Rule. In DKOG. DKCOG, I should say. Oh no. No, oh, got me. Oof. I don't like this. I mean, how many more of these do I gotta do? This is a long fight. And I still got art to show, boy. We gotta hit at the. the MOA, the Museum of Art, after this. I completely forgot that I have roll jumping. Ooh. Okay. Alright, that looks like the maximum amount. I've been hitting him once per turn though, and I'm not getting the the full cycle with the shots as he runs around. Let me get over here. Nope. Come here, please. That should no. Oh, I did get him. Noise. I got him. All right. Let's see if we can get one. Yes. Got the heart. We should. Oh, okay, that was a waste. I think we should be getting close to another phase soon. Oh, we can jump right on us. No! Ugh. What a pain in the buns. Okay, now that I'm Dixieless. Oh no, it's it still counts the one I've got, so. Oh, viewers, I am so sorry. But just think about it. This is the final uh the final canoodle shebang. Zap. Enjoy it. Cherish this. But if you are a, an astute observer, you'll understand. There might be a little misdirection going on. Alright. This music kind of makes me think of like when I would play uh, like pro wrestling video games as a kid. It's kind of the vibe I get from it. Yeah, so I don't know, like, oh man, I just got I got like run and jump. There we go. I think that it's not dependent on like different cycles and stuff. I think it has to do entirely with just how many times you hit him, how many times you you get him. So that's three. I want to say that it's somewhere in like the twenties. 
which is a lot. This is a... This is a battle of attrition. We're under siege right now by this heavy boy. He's thick. Come back. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Obviously got to hit him a little quicker than that. There we go. You, you line him up and you hit him right down... Uh... Yes, there we go. Oh, just once so I don't get another chance? Okay, that's two hits in this cycle. Whoa. Sometimes it helps to just jump all the way to the end if you can. I think he, he'll at least skip the one side. He's not going to be able to jump all the way to the end if you give him at least one square of space. One square space when you're designing your own website. You want to sponsor me Squarespace? Let's do it. Partnership. Go. I'm just glad that those ice blasts don't cause these to sink all the way into the lava. That would be really annoying. That out of the way. That was totally tactical. There we go. Alright, hit him in the tootsie. Yeah, see, that would have even hit him if it would have let me. There we go. Ooh, come at me again, bro. Oh, I missed. No! I think that's like... How many, how many, whoa. Excuse me, whoa. I want to say that's like six or so hits. This is an incredibly long fight. This is definitely going to be... <laughs> it's good that they make the K, ep the K episode, the K level of the episode easier. I mean, I still didn't really handle it well, but by nature of just how gosh dang ridiculous this is, this is crazy. Alright. Let's square up with our ammunitions. Oh, I missed. I didn't get the cycle. Oh, he's, he's hanging out over here. Ooh, hit him in the head. That should count for two. It does not. Alright. Let's see if we can get a, a back bounce here. Dang. That didn't count. He has like a weird hitbox where like you have to be pretty well clear of his head. If you're not, that it doesn't count. Like hits him in the horns. His design is really, really good though. Kind of has like a Game of Thrones vibe here. It's crazy to think about that that show as a phenomenon was so popular and then it faded away overnight. Like me. I'm so popular. Okay. I wish. Hopefully I don't fade away overnight. Sometimes I feel like that if I eat too much dairy. Sometimes you wind up feeling like a raisin. Okay. A very poopy raisin. Alright. I'm gonna need you to quit it out. Quit it out. That's what I just said. Cut it out. And quit it. Okay. Let's keep it real here. Big jump. Medium jump. <laughs> Man, you gotta really nail that. That is super hard. But at least, like I'm shit. Whoa! Oh man, I didn't know that he would give me one, <laughs> one final jump. Yeah, these Dixie Barrels are incredibly useful. And I have no shame of using and abusing them. You let me buy them, game. There's gotta be a reason for it. And the reason is because I suck. Oh, man. This would be even worse if these little platforms would fall away with each of those launches. I would be re really upset. Right, let's get this going. Need you stop. Okay. If I could just time any of these correctly, that'd be super great. Yeah, I just jump too hard sometimes. <laughs> I overcompensate, like I do a lot of things in life. Okay, let's see where he's gonna jump. I don't think he'll jump right next to you until like the final jump. There we go. Okay, okay. This just feels very monotonous and rep uh, repetitious. So if you could figure this out for me. It's like the final boss fight of Aladdin when you're fighting, or the second to final boss fight when you're 
fighting the first form of Jafar. Not so fast, Jafar. Okay. We just gotta hang in there. I'm feeling good. This might be the one. I'm not sure to count it. Oh. I love that animation of him doing the little twinkle toes. Like he's about to go bowling or something. If it's just this over and over again, I mean, I guess I can live with that. There we go. Oh, he's mad. This might be a... Uh... Oh, no. Oh, that is... Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Okay, viewers, we're back to phase three. Here we go. Let's see if we can not screw this up this time. Definitely having Dixie there is a huge boost. You gotta jump on that platform that's closest to him. If you don't, you're doomed. Man, this is, uh... Whew. Even if you did this in one try, this would probably still take you like 15 or 20 minutes. And I am clearly not good enough for that, so... Whoop. You gotta always be jumping here. Maybe J for sure. And it's uh, a lot of rinse and repeat. It's not the most original of the boss fights. It's not horrible. I think the boss fight with the three baboons was probably my favorite one just because of how ridiculous it was. But they allegedly took out all the uh, RNG of these boss fights, so I don't know. Do I believe you? Do I believe you, Retro? Oh man, he's hopping mad. Oh boy. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Whoa! Oh no. Oh no. Come on! Ooh! No! Oh! <laughs> there is a little bit of RNG there. Oh man, that was scary. Woo! Oh, now he's shooting crap at us. Over, under. Oh man, yeah. He's uh, really pulling out all the stops here. There we go. Got one hit on him. That's good. Probably need 700 million more. I will have the hits of Donkey Kong, though, once my final... Actually, you know what? While I'm waiting on the... Oh, I can't access my inventory during the game. says no, that's cheating. Okay, we are down to our final Dixie. We need to be a little more careful here. Whoa! Oh my gosh. This is... Whew. This is pretty climactic. We have made it to the top of the mountain. Can we overcome it? Ooh, these guys jump now. Pulling out all the stops. Shouldn't have done that. Okay. We need him to give us one more tell. Where he stops. That might be not good enough. Oh, it is? Okay. He's so fast now. There we go. I was actually not expecting to hit him there. Alright, this crap again. Oh, no. I don't really know how to time this. Looks like this middle one is the safe one. You just gotta wait for it, I guess. And then use your Dixie Hop to get your back going. Oh no. Not these again. At least it seems to be pretty consistent. Over, under, over, under. Okay, that's not too bad. But I'm all out of Dixies now. <laughs> DK only, here we go. Oh, everything is horrible. I don't know, I'm gonna do that final bit with the, uh, the platform <laughs> brazen and lowering. Okay, let me know, it won't. The game is like, nope. You pooped in the bed, now you gotta sleep in it. Oh boy. You gotta be very careful here, because we only have the three hits. I'm very nervous. I'm so nervous. Alright, hang in there, viewers. We might be able to do it. Okay. You just gotta be patient. Come back. You fool. There we go, hit him right in the hand. Oh man. Feels like a million more hits.
Oh, that was it! No X and Y! <laughs> Even though I try to hit the buttons. Okay, let's be quiet and enjoy this final cutscene. The whole gang is here, we have... Rocketed the snowmads away. The big jerks. They deserve all that's coming to them. Trying to take over our homeland. Who do you think you are, the US government? And now it's amazingly Donkey Kong sized. It's magics. <laughs> Apparently, that horn creates a flower path to undo the Snowmad's shenanigans? I don't know. I guess that's not the thing in this game that I should be the most incredulous about, but whatever. But we did it! That's a game! The entire game. Oh, I love Dixie's banana guitar. Cranky's stand-up banana bass. Wow. Incredible. What a fun game. Wow. Um, yeah. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This was a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed playing through this one. This one just kind of came as a sort of a random choice. I was looking at games that I had on my Switch that would be fun to do around the time that I was doing Pokemon, because I felt like Pokemon as a game, that series is fun, but it is very, I mean, this game kind of got samey at points, but like, Pokemon in and of itself is incredibly samey, and you know, there's only so much that you can do, and I don't really feel like that series did super well. This one seems to be doing a bit better, but um, you know, maybe Pokemon would have done better in the current climate now with a little bit more momentum on the channel, who knows, but yeah, this game was just something that I've been wanting to play for a while. I own three copies of it. I have a digital copy, a hard copy for the Wii U, and then this version. So, apparently I really like it, having bought it three times. And, uh, yeah. It's a lot of fun. They've really come a long way in, uh, in this series. You know, obviously, the first three Donkey Kong countries and the most recent two returns and then this one can't really be compared because they're made by different people but I still feel like these two being spiritual successors to the first three are really fun really good the art is great the gameplay is great and I don't really have any complaints I feel like they're both both series have their pros and cons they're both a lot of fun it's it goes to show how talented the people at retro are because they were the ones coming off of the success of the Metroid Prime trilogy. I think it's three, right? And then they made these two games. I remember, you know, I grew up playing Donkey Kong Country. It was one of my favorite series. I'd play with my siblings. And then when this game finally came out, or at least the, uh, the prequel to this game, the first one, I bought that for Wii. Or no, I didn't buy it. I got it for Christmas. That's how that works. Do you ever buy your own Christmas presents? Yours? Um... Ooh, my name should be in the credits here. Oh no, it's the state of Texas, just kidding. But anyway, yeah, so, um, I was very excited to be able to get back into this franchise whenever the first one came out and then obviously this one. I played the absolute poo out of this one. It was hard to put down. I would say over time, my enjoyment of the game has kind of dwindled a little bit only because trying to play and commentate and be a completionist is a little tougher because you don't want to waste a lot of time like I try not to do when I make these Let's Play episodes. Oh, that's an adorable picture. Look at that. It's Scuba Diamond. That's really funny. But, you know, in general, it's still, I would say it's still a top five. Switch platformer for me. I don't know. Oh, I mean, it's not technically a Switch game, though, so maybe I would say it's like a top five Wii U platformer, but I haven't really gone back and thought about what games are on the Wii U. 
when it comes to platformers, so I'd have to really think about it, but in general, still a really heckin' good game, and uh, I enjoyed playing it with all of ya. Now, if this would be done, and let me cycle back to the title screen, maybe. Ooh, what is this? A present for us? Yes. Oh, viewers, I might have fibbed. I like the addition of Funky Con to this animation. This very low frame rate animation. What could this final gift be? What is my final gift to you, viewers? Oh my gosh, it's another mysterious relic. What does that mean? Well, you're gonna learn. Ladies and gentlemen, six boss is where we just left off, right? Okay. So we should be done, all things considered. However, when you do finish the final boss and you collect all six of the relics plus the seventh freebie, this appears. These are the three bonus levels, which, depending upon how difficult they are, may be levels all on their own, or episodes all on their own. But first, I want to show you some art, because I promised I would. I don't think I have any additional figurines to show, but um, I do have World 6 imagery to show you. So there you go. Very cool. They did such a good job. The art style is just... Incredible. It's very unique and fun. Very good and very cartoony. The cook pot mine. See, that would have been cool. I like the, uh... I like where their minds went on this one. Snowmakers. Okay. Yeah, there's the, uh... Cool... Kind of Pokemon... Black and white legendary looking phoenix thing. There's the island all covered in snow. <laughs> Here are the different creations of uh, the walruses that they don't, I don't think they wound up using these, but these designs are great. I love that the crab uh, spear. Ooh, man, this would have been fun, a snowball fight. I don't know why they chose that font though. It's weird. Okay. Music you can check out eventually. I'll probably post a link to the music if I'm able to. If not, then I won't. <laughs> but there you go. There's the snowball fight that they talked about. This has got DK. It's got Funky in there. Cranky's holding down the four with the Waldo. Dixie's just having a blast holding all those balls, as we all do. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything funny on the backside. Oh, there's a penguin who fell off the tower. That's great. I love it. That is wonderful. And then there's the credits again if you want to watch them, which I don't. But we will be continuing on for the three bonus levels starting next time. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you haven't. And thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And I'll see you next time. Bye.